Number five from paper one of the 2016 new hire. Here we go. Format question on vectors. And it just seems to be about evaluating scalar products. In part A, it gives you two vectors in component form and says, what's the scalar product? It's only the one mark. Oh, well, just have to go through the multiplications. It's five times the three. And it's, I'll just put that down. One times the negative eight for the Y components and add on negative one times the six for the Z components. So five threes are 15 minus the eight minus the six takes the answer down to just one. Now, part B wants the scalar product of U dot W where this time they're given in terms of their lengths and angle. So you just use the other formula. U dot W will be the magnitude of U times the magnitude of W times the cosine of the angle in between them. Well, I know the angle in between them. I know the magnitude of W. So first of all, I'll need to work out the magnitude of U. So I'll just do that here. The magnitude of U will be the square root of square the components. And I'll just jump straight in. 25, 1, and 1. If you wish, you can put 5 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. So that's root 27, as it turns out. So what have I got? I've got root 27 times root 3 times the cosine of pi upon 3. Now, some of these things will tidy up. For instance, root 27, maybe I should have done it here. Root 27 is 9 times 3, so that's a 3 root 3. So I've got 3 root 3 times the root 3, and the cosine of pi up in 3, in pounds, shillings and pence, is cosine of 60, which is a half. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 3 threes are 9, so it's 9 upon 2. So for number 6, three marks here. A function is given by this, x cubed plus 7, What's the inverse function? Well, just, you know, see it straight away. What do you do? You take a number, you cube it, you add 7. So how do you get back? Take away 7 to do the cube root. But I'll just have to set it out. Normally, there's two ways of setting it out, but I'm just going to set it out once because it's only a quick sketch. Normally, call the answer y. So the result of this will be called y. So y would be given by x cubed plus 7. So for the inverse, rearrange it so I can have the input. So rearranging that would be x cubed equals y minus 7, and then x would be, take the cube root of the whole lot, the cube root of y minus 7. Now, it should really say inverse of h acting on y is found by taking this expression, but normally you say a letter's a letter, so I'll just rewrite it as inverse function acting on x would be the cube root of x minus 7.